Spoiler alert, the Toad Prince is the creature in the sewers at the beginning of Hearts and Stone. Um, this guy caught me off guard. I was experimenting with uh, different detoxions and stuff, so my toxicity was so high, I couldn't really make uh, good use of my uh, Thundershot and um, Swallow. But uh, I stay. I got died a whole bunch of times, but I stayed in here long enough to try and figure out a decent strategy. So, uh, the best thing to do is, as long as you have grenades, they do make a nice and stun, so you can get in there and do a bunch of damage. You gotta watch out for his tongue attack and his poison attack. They're devastating, and it always seemed like as soon as you got up close, he'd do a little jump and it'd knock you on your ass and you'd get you stuck. Right there, the timing on the grenade, I just totally blew it. I didn't get into very much damage in on that time. So, I was in here for about 10 minutes for the whole fight, but don't worry, I'm not going to show you all of it. Watch how I do this. The timing to get the grenade down is wait till he like does his tongue or his, his tongue attack is the best. And this will give you the maximum amount of time and you can actually get some damage in on this guy. And of course I use keep the win up as, pos as much as possible because that mitigates um, a shit ton of damage that and then I eventually run out of all my grenades, and I am out of swallow, so I have no to heal again. But, the crossbow actually does a little tiny bit of a stun. I'm like afraid to die, so I'm staying way back. Um, keep my Quinn up, because I feel like he's just like really close. But, if you can get in there to that little soft belly, keep, you know, Dodging him, it's, uh, it's like Bloodborne-esque, where you have to get your dodges in and um, come in once they're, you know, taking a little break between their next attack, uh, and um, or you've got them stunned. The grenades work the best. I kind of blew it, and the toxins I was using, uh, the grave hag is. You know, threw me up over the edge. I was experimenting. If you stick with just the uh, cockatrice, it gives you extra grenades and stuff. But I couldn't even put food consumables into my uh, quick slots at that point. And like a lot of the game, this is where Hearts and Stone really gets started. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.